Good morning. Today is Friday, July 29th, 2022, and it is day number 202 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 142.4 pounds, and this morning, I am at 141.8 pounds. I have lost six tenths of a pound since yesterday, and a total of 77.2 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. So right now I am doing rolling 72s. I am in round 48 and I'm about 47 hours in. So this means that I have a refeed scheduled for tomorrow morning. And I always look forward to when my refeeds hit on a weekend because on weekends I don't have to like worry about rushing. I can take my time when making a refeed. So my refeeds generally taste a lot better on the weekends. And I think what I'm going to have for my refeed tomorrow is shrimp sauteed in like this really amazing garlic butter. And this is a refeed that I've made for myself in the past and it actually turns out pretty good. It's one of the like few refeeds that I know that I can make um, well and that will taste good. And there's not a lot that I can do to mess this up as long as like I stay near the stove and make sure that I don't burn the shrimp. And so I'm definitely, you know, looking forward to this refeed. And I think along with it, I'll have like raspberries. And so that's my refeed for tomorrow. But anyhow, um, in the hours leading up to my last refeed, I felt pretty bad, like physically. And so I thought like we could talk about that um, a little bit in today's video. And so I wanted to like talk about why you might be feeling bad physically and what you should do about it. And so um, the first thing that you should do if you're like, you know, feeling bad physically is to look back at what you had for your last meal. And that could be the culprit. And so basically I kind of like feel like you can do rolling 72s eating any kind of diet, but I choose to kind of like eat a clean diet because I know that if like my diet's not so clean, then um, when I started a round of rolling 72s, I'm gonna have to go through detox symptoms. So if you're feeling bad, um, you know, physically, I would definitely, you know, scrutinize what you had for your last meal because you may be experiencing detox symptoms. And so um, what do I mean by eating clean? Basically um, eating clean um, means that you eliminate sugar, like refined sugar from your diet. Um, I would say like spicy foods as well, um, caffeine and grain products. And so that's basically what I'm doing for my rolling 72s and I really don't experience detox symptoms. The only time that I have experienced detox symptoms during the Rolling 72s have been like the three occasions where I had a coffee and um, it was a decaf coffee, but there's still like caffeine in it. And so when I started my next round of fasting, um, it was met with a like really massive headache. And so we all like detox in different ways. Um, and so for me, like the detox symptoms that I generally feel include a massive headache and it's usually on one side of my head. Um, on occasion, I will feel like nausea. And um, another like symptom that I feel is like really like sore legs. And the reason why is because like toxins go to the like big muscles in our body. And so whenever like I feel like the really sore legs, no amount of massaging them or stretching them or like moving them around really helps. And so um, those are my detox symptoms, but we're all like different and we'll all like experience like different like detox symptoms. And so um, definitely, you know, look at your last meal to see if maybe that is causing an issue for you and what you can do to, you know, fix this or at least make it a lot milder is to you know consume electrolyte water like water with electrolytes in it and you might want to add a little bit of extra salt in your water and so i find like this is usually helpful when i am going through um detox and it helps make the like detox a lot milder but i do definitely suggest that you kind of like you know keep these 
foods out of your diet if you're doing rolling fast because the last thing you want is like to start a new round of you know fasting and have to go through like detox and then um, to clean yourself out and then have another like offending meal and then start your next round of fasting and have to go through detox again um, if I had to like go through detox after, you know, at the beginning of each round of my, you know, rolling fast, I don't think I would have made it like this far. And so I definitely suggest that you, you know, do your best to keep your diet as clean as possible. And so, um, another thing that you might need to do, um, is like get rid of the like last meal that you had, um, flush it out of your body. And so... When I started my 40 day water fast, one of the like meals that I had like right before starting was like these spicy chicken tenders and jalapenos. And that meal basically like haunted me for many days um, of my fast. I had like really bad acid reflux. And basically the only way to like fix a situation like that was to like kind of like flush the meal out of my body. So what I did was I took an oxygen-based oxygen, oxygen -based colon cleanser called MAGO7. This is something that I've been taking since 2005. And that flushed, you know, that meal like right out of my body. And as soon as it was gone, the acid reflux was gone for the rest of my 40-day fast. And so you might want to like, you know, consider like cleaning out your colon um, with either an oxygen-based colon cleanser or maybe doing an enema. And so um, that's something else that you might want to consider doing. Um, and so basically, if you are doing these like short, like rolling fast, I definitely suggest that you kind of like take this time to like use this as an opportunity to see like if you have like food sen sensitivities, kind of like use it as an elimination diet of sorts. And so when I started like my rolling 72s, I would like slowly add in foods um, for my refeeds. And so basically I started off with like one food for my refeed just to kind of like see how I felt. And that's kind of like where, when I realized that I am actually sensitive to turkey. And um, so how I figured this out is that I had a turkey refeed and I just had turkey. So I knew it was the turkey. And um, so within a day or two of starting my next round of fasting, I was experiencing joint pain which was pretty devastating to me because I had gotten rid of all of my joint pain on my 40 day water fast. And it just felt so good to like, you know, go through life without like, you know, pain in my knees and my ankles. And also I have like pain in my like left hand as well. And so it just felt good that, you know, I had been pain free for so long and for the pain to like come back, I was just devastated. So um, since all I had had was turkey, I looked turkey up and learned that turkey is highly inflammatory for some people and can cause joint pain. So um, I did take my oxygen-based colon cleanser, MAGO7, and that flushed the turkey out of my body. And as soon as the turkey was gone, so was my joint pain. And so if I hadn't been using the rolling 72s as an elimination diet, I would have never, you know, figured out that I have a sensitivity to turkey because I've been eating turkey basically like all my life, but I've been using, usually eating it along with like other junk. So there's no way I would have been able to pinpoint turkey as like the culprit for causing some of the um, pain that I have been feeling. So I definitely suggest that you consider using your rolling fast as some sort of an elimination diet and just like kind of like add food slowly and you know listen to your body and see how it feels um for each round of fasting to determine if you know certain foods like cause issues for you so um another issue that you might feel um when doing the rolling fast is um you might find that your energy is dipping so if that's the case for you i would look at you know what you've done physically um in the days, you know, in the previous days. And so that was kind of like the issue for me with my last um, fast, my last round of fasting that my energy started to dip. And the thing is, I've been, you know, 
trying to walk 15,000 steps a day and do beginner calinetics and also like use my whole body vibration machine. And um, I just think I pushed myself too far with the activity and um, plus, you know, add to the fact that I was extending my fast out by like a few more hours. And so that just really contributed to the dip in my energy. And the thing about me is that I feel so good at doing these really fast. And I feel like myself and sometimes I forget that I'm actually fasting, that I'm not consuming any food. And so sometimes it's kind of like easy to like push yourself a little bit too far. So you just kind of keep in mind that you are fasting and that you can't really, you know, operate at like a hundred percent. And so, um, if that's the case for you, you find your energy dipping, please like do not hesitate to end your fast early and you know don't feel guilty about that. Just have a small reveed and then start back up again. And um this time keep in mind that you are fasting and that you can't, you know, like do like certain things. And so um just remember that. And um I guess that's today's video. And so Basically, take a look at your, you know, meal that you had, um, you know, before starting your fast and also, you know, look at your physical activity. And um, for a lot of like my issues that I have felt like when fasting, um, you know, making sure that I'm getting enough water and that I'm, you know, getting putting the electrolytes in the water. That's usually um, been very helpful. And so... That's today's video. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Friday and that you just enjoy the start to your weekend. And I will check back in with you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.